So this video is to explain how to wire up the alarm contacts on a novice PID temperature controller. Uh, it's quite a common question we get asked, um, so we just thought we'd explain the wiring a little bit to people. Um, so here we have our live and our neutral coming into the controller. As you can see, uh, this controller will run on AC voltage. Um, we've numbered them 8 and 9, 8 for neutral, 9 for live. So on 8 and 9 on your terminal block, um, this will run the controller's internal electronics. Um, and what we've done for the alarm is we've actually looped 9 across into terminal 7. So that there's going to be a permanent live sitting all the time on terminal 7. Um, and then out from terminal 6, we've got another wire labelled here 6. So we have 8 and 9 and then nine looped across into terminal seven. So the uh, the control supply we nearly always fuse down, as you can see, five VA to run the controller. It's not an awful lot of power consumption. Um, and just to put on a simple signal, which we can see here, um, it's gonna consume very little in the way of power. Um, so we'd always recommend fusing that down just to protect um, the electronics in the controller and any auxiliary devices you might have. Um, and we're just going to follow those wires off now because eight again we've looped and that runs all the way to our alarm and the other wire that runs to the alarm is six so what's going to happen with the alarm condition output two this relay here is going to close um, we're going to go from nine through the relay back out on six and we're going to turn our alarm on now we're going to cover how to set up the alarm um, in a different video, but hopefully that's been helpful to some people.